The M&M imbued is gone, but its history lives on. MTN's Caitlin Aguilas takes a look at what made the M&M a Butte staple. The last great cigar store has fallen in Uptown Butte. The M&M went up in flames, the roof collapsed inward, and the historic building has been completely gutted. The history behind the M&M is a vast one. So the M&M was constructed in the early 1890s by two gentlemen, Martin and Mosby, and they um, built it as a pool hall and saloon. The M&M operated 24-7 for well over 100 years. The doors were always unlocked. One story told that the owner flushed the keys down the toilet. During Prohibition, the M&M followed other Butte bars and became a cigar store, using that as a front to hide a speakeasy that was operating in the back room. There was a bowling alley in the basement. The first floor was dedicated to eating and drinking. The second floor was reserved for gambling. The gambling moved to a back room in the basement where poker tables and a kino cage operated. When the eatery closed its doors in the 90s, Bud Walker and his son bought the building in 2004 and reopened it in 2005 after refurbishing the building. They received an offer they couldn't refuse and sold the building. Walker was there watching firefighters work to keep the flames controlled. It's sad, it is. Before we even owned it, you know, it was a place we used to come all the time and it's just, it's a sad thing. After Walker sold the building, the M&M was sold again, this time to Selena Pankovich. The M&M became different things to different people, but one thing is for sure, it will be missed. I feel like I've lost my best friend. And just, it's too bad it's, it's going to go away. Butte will miss this historical landmark, but it's the people, not the place, that keep the memories alive. In Butte, Caitlin Aguilas, MTN News. And hearing a lot of confidence already that the M&M will be rebuilt and there will be a lot of support to make that happen. Cause of the fire remains under investigation.